Hello and welcome to the Hipper Vault podcast where we discuss HIPAA compliance for WordPress. My name is Adam Zenadine and I'm joined by our CTO for HIPAA Vault, Gil Vidal's. Hey Gil. Hey Adam, I'm looking forward to this podcast today. Yeah, me too, me too. Uh, last week we touched on some general considerations for hosting HIPAA data. We looked at encryption at rest, encryption in transit and in use, which we introduced. Uh, as well as asking the host um, whether or not they have a compliance manager designated to review. So it's important, we know, to ask uh, the hosting provider about a compliance manager. But today we're going to talk a little bit about WordPress specifically and the security around it and what things that listeners should take into consideration when it comes to WordPress and security. Um, and that, what I should probably do is first I start by introducing WordPress in case any of our listeners are not familiar with it. So WordPress is a content management system, uh, also shortened to CMS. And it's actually the most popular content management system globally. It has 50 to 60% market share, something like that. And it's used to essentially develop websites. It's uh, very powerful because it has plugins that are like mini apps that sit within it that allow uh, users to create any kind of functionality pretty much that they want on the website. Um, it's also got themes which allow you to basically get started, not having to build everything from scratch. It gives you a, a nice template to start from on your website. And WordPress is also very Google friendly. So marketers like it for search optimization purposes. So that's just a little bit about WordPress, but I had a question I, I wanted to review with you today, Gil, um, from one of our listeners, and you can email us questions at podcast at Um And the question today is, it's with regards to security on WordPress, and the question is, WordPress doesn't sign a business associate agreement, um, so how can it be HIPAA compliant? What do you think about that? Yeah, that, that's a good question, and I, I want to draw an analogy to answer that question because to me, analogies, they, they're like little stories. They stay in my mind. So I, I want to draw an analogy between WordPress and let's say you have uh, some money, some cash in this hand. Mm -hmm. And WordPress, you want to keep secure because you don't want people hacking into your WordPress site, stealing your patient records. And then your cash, for obvious reasons, you want to keep that secure. So, but let's say your cash, you're thinking, okay, where do I keep my cash? Some people in the old days keep it under their mattress. Some people may keep some cash on their body and other people say, oh, I don't want to do any of that. I want to keep it in a big bank vault, you know, downtown. Obviously some of these are more secure than the others. WordPress is similar. You can take WordPress software, which is a community open source project and you could take that and say, I'm going to host it at a hosting provider down the street for me. I'm going to host it in my own computer in my garage. You could literally do that. People do that even today, <laughs> or you can pick a specialty specialty company that does those kinds of things, a HIPAA compliant hosting web hosting provider. Now, if you're hosting it, anywhere but in your own backyard, you need to sign a business associate agreement. In other words, if you're going to be partnering with a company that's going to be hosting your website, they need to sign a business associate agreement. That's very important. And that document essentially is a marriage between you and that provider. And that it's a legal marriage where you say, look, we're both responsible for the data. If there's a breach, we're both responsible. And it avoids the finger pointing saying, well, I thought he did that and I thought they did that. No, no, you're, you're in it together. And that's why it's such an important document. You want to find a good partner, just like in marriage, you want to find a good partner that is doing their part in the partnership. Right. And I suppose um, it's also important to look at the fine print on the BAA because there's different levels of service and agreements that you're going to have with uh, your quote unquote hosting provider, right? So they might be responsible for like making sure the server is secure, but are they responsible for things in WordPress itself? You know, that, 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 that could come into it. Mm -hmm. uh, are they providing you with WordPress just saying, hey, here's a username and login, do, uh, do what you need to do and we'll 
cover everything else? Or are they saying, oh, here's the server, you log into the server and um, you know you can install whatever you want on the server. Like what level is that business associate, I guess, um, gonna be assisting with the HIPAA compliance for the website? Yeah, I, th I think that document is really more of a business legal document. It's not gonna get into the, the valid points you brought up, they are very valid points, but they wouldn't be in that kind of document. This document's at a much higher level. It's just basically saying that this Acme company that has a healthcare app and this other company that's the hosting provider, they're, they're going to share responsibility. But it doesn't delineate it like what you're saying. Okay, hmm. you do this piece. That That's really not talked about. It's just saying that both responsible if there were to be a breach we're married and we're both going to be in trouble. Yeah. So it's how the language. So the, the other part you're talking about, Adam, is more of a technical questions or more of a plan that the provider would lay out, say, hey, in our plan, you get these features and benefits. Okay. Great. Yeah. And, and I guess so then that wouldn't be listed in the business associate agreement mm -hmm. necessarily. It would just be important to look out for okay for example you know there's a lot of plugins in wordpress who's going to be responsible for updating mm -hmm. the plugins because if you don't update the plugins then there's going to be a big security risk right yeah last week we talked about what's what questions do you ask a hosting provider that's uh, claiming to be hipaa compliant provider and we talked about well ask you know what if you only could ask them one question i would say well do you have a compliance manager that I can speak with. Like, what's his name? I want to actually talk to the guy. And of course, the reason for that is if they say, oh, we don't really have one or we have one, but he's never available for you to talk to, then then that's not a good situation for you. Yeah. But this this kind of a thing is important too, what you just mentioned, the plugins. Who's updating the plugins? Is that, is that the responsibility of the, um, of the healthcare uh, application owner, the one who's installing the app or the one who, who owns the app, or will a provider participate in that? And will they be doing some of the updates? Uh, that's a that's a pretty important point, I would say. Yeah, and that's, I think, why last week you and I decided together that the, that the compliance manager was an important component. If you could only ask one question, what would it be? Well, the compliance manager should, should know all these things and they should know about the plugins and the core and they should make sure all that's maintained. So that's why it gives you peace of mind. If there is a compliance manager, it's their responsibility. So that's why that's would be the single question. But if you're going to get into the details, which you should, in order to do your due diligence, you also want to ask the provider about the plugins and who does them and how often are they updated and how do you find out if there's a vulnerability in one and, you know, how often do you scan the website? So those are all good questions to ask. But again, those are separate from the BAA and they're, they would be covered more at the technical end of the hosting plan. All right, fantastic. Um, well, I think that's all for this episode. Um, be sure to like, uh, subscribe, and check out hippoval.com for news and updates. So until next time, thank you for stopping by.